House Republicans want to give parents more control over what their children are being taught in school and even help to create the curriculum. As part of their Commitment to America plan, Speaker Kevin McCarthy and others gathered to introduce a bill to do just that. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, that's right, Tracy. Good evening to you. You know, dozens of parents actually attended the event when lawmakers unveiled the Parents' Bill of Rights. Many of them uh, told stories about how they were ridiculed, chastised. Some were even sued. Others were arrested on what they told school boards across the country on what they were teaching their kids. Now, Kevin McCarthy says parents should always have the right on what they say. Education is the great equalizer. And we want the parents to be empowered. And that's what we're doing today. That you have a say in your kids' education, not government, and not telling you what to do. The Parents' Bill of Rights has five major points. Every parent has the right to know what's being taught in schools, right to be heard, right to see the school's budget and spending, right to protect their child's privacy, and right to be updated on any violent activity on campus. Republican Congresswoman Julia Letlow, a former teacher, authored the bill. She said students using virtual classrooms during COVID allowed parents to see what their children were being taught. So many of us were disheartened with what we were viewing. And so then we did the right thing, right? We went to our school boards and we voiced our displeasure, but we were turned away. And some of us were even labeled domestic terrorists. During the event, parents spoke of mistreatment and lack of transparency by school officials. The largest teachers union in the country, the NEA, did file a lawsuit against me to bully me and harass me with frivolous litigation and to send a message to other parents that if you ask questions about public education, they will come after you. In May 2021, my daughter was sexually assaulted at her school in her female bathroom by a boy wearing a skirt. As any parent can understand, this was a painful and devastating time for our family. This should have never happened and could have been prevented. This measure comes as the House Judiciary Committee has opened investigations on both the Department of Justice and the Department of Education. What's next for the bill? Well, it heads to committee for debate and then on to the floor for a vote. We do want to let you know about something else. Embattled Congressman George Santos now has a uh, ethics committee violation investigation going on against him. We'll continue to follow that story as it develops. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.